Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about how to set up your email marketing using ConvertKit and ClickFunnels. Now, uh, ConvertKit is the autoresponder that I am using for my email marketing. Um, there are several other uh, autoresponders like the Awebers, the uh, GetResponse, the Active Campaigns. I've been using this um, uh, autoresponder and I've been pretty happy uh, with it so far. I mean, I'm still in the uh, beginning stages where I'm testing it and I'm happy with it so far. And my funnel builder is um, obviously ClickFunnels. I mean, I've been mentioning it, men mentioning it in a lot of, of my videos. This is the my this is my funnel builder of choice, right? Now, the so what we're going to discuss is how to set uh, things up because when you have your funnel and someone go ahead and opt-ins and put their uh, email address uh, we want to be able to send them to the email sequence that we have set up so I'm going to go through step by step on how to set things up so this is a uh, two-page uh, funnel that I uh, created on uh, click funnels which is part of the X one the exercise that uh, that's in the uh, platform. They have a, a series of video exercises and they, they give you like some steps to follow to be able to build your first funnel. So this is um, one of the funnels that they had there, right? So I didn't change any of the text. I put a picture of myself there and I have an opt-in uh, form here, right? And I have a, this button saying, follow my journey. And on the bottom, I have these um, social media links, right? So when for example you have this pop-up button where it asks you to put your email and then uh, submit so when you put your email there and you click submit then we need to configure the the, the funnel to uh, to uh, properly send the email to the next step right so this is how you do it so let me close this um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to do an integration so you have to go to your account details on the top right. So let's click on account details. And then we're going to look for integration. Okay. Now in integration, you're going to be able to uh, integrate any application that's supported by ClickFunnels, right? So I'm going to click here. You're going to see a list of um, applications that I currently have integrated. So I have uh, ConvertKit already there, Actionetics, and then this HTML form here. So if you click, if you want to add a new integration, you need to click on add new integration there, all right? So let's see, it's probably going to tell me that I already have one, but I just wanted to show you the process. So this is the list of applications that are, that you can integrate with um, ClickFunnels. As I mentioned earlier, we have the the Awebers, the Active Campaigns, the Get Response, Go to Webinar, a whole bunch, right? And um, I'm looking for ConvertKit. So this is, it. I mean, it doesn't matter which um, autoresponder you use. The process is going to be pretty much the same, right? You're going to you're going to need to put an API key. So let's click on this one, which is the ConvertKit, and let's see what it says. Um, integration name. Please fill out the details for this integration, integration name and API key. And I get a warning here saying that you already have an integration for ConvertKit. You can edit it if you prefer, okay? So I'm not going to edit it. I just wanted to show you the process. So basically what you do is you go to your autoresponder. So I'll go to my ConvertKit here and I'll go to, I click on my name and I click on account settings, okay? And it's going to send me to my settings. So here you have your name or company name. And here you have your API key, which I am blurring for obvious reason. So what you need to do is you need to select this and copy it. Okay. You copy it. And then you go back to your ClickFunnels page. You put the name here and you put the API key. And then you click on add integration. And that's all you have to do. Okay. Now let's go to, let's go after you've done that, 
I think it will give you a message saying that the integration has been done successfully. Now we're going to go back to our funnel, uh, which is this one. And I'm going to show you uh, how to actually uh, do the, the, how to select a form, a list for this. But before we, before we go ahead and do that, we need to go back to the other responder. We're going to create a form first, okay? So I'm going to create one live so you can see so we click on forms. So this is what I like with ConvertKit. I mean, everything is, they put the absolute necessary things or the uh, tabs on top. So I just, uh, it's easy to find the information. So you click on forms and then you, you click on new form. So I'm gonna add a new form here. Okay, so I'm going to select, uh, let's see, form, it's going to be form. Click on form. Uh, it's going to be modal, I think. Yep. Okay, so I'm only asking for uh, the email, so it can be any of this, right? So I'm gonna, I'm going to select this one. Um, the only thing I'm asking on the for on the my page is email, right? I'm not asking for the name also. So let's double check that. See, only the email. So. This is why I'm picking uh, this type of form, right? So this is the one. Um, this, is the, but the the way it looks, this doesn't really matter because you're not going to really uh, publish the form itself. You just need it as, as some sort of a placeholder, okay? So you give it a name. I'm going to I'm going to call it um, CF Hero Form, okay? And I click save. successfully updated uh, and then if I click back on form it's going to show here right so this is a new form that I selected okay now the next uh, thing you would need to have ready is your email sequence okay to create a sequence is pretty easy um, you just click on sequence here and then you create a new sequence. Okay, let's create a new sequence. And you're going to give it a name. We're gonna call it um, CF Hero Sequence. Okay. Create sequence. And then we're going to have this uh, page right so this is where you're going to add the different emails you're going to send right so the you have a, a one the first email that's showing here is by default it says how to build a sequence this is an email and this is the content right so this is the subject this is the content and then here you say you mention when to send that email is it going to be after one day if you want to send it immediately you just can pick here zero here Okay, and then if you want, if there's a second email you want to send, you click on add email and then you just change the subject. We're going to call it uh, second email. And here we're going to put uh, this is the second email in the sequence. Okay. And you keep doing that like every I mean if you have like five emails you just click add email you put your subject you put your 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 content and you keep doing that for a sequence okay and when when you're you finish checking everything uh, uh, all your content you're sure that you, you're good to go with your sequence then you have to publish them okay so you select publish you select publish so this means and you have to save right so this means that these are ready to send whenever someone um, goes ahead and, and signs into the form. But this is not going to be done automatically. You need to create an automation. And the automation, you go there on automations. And we're going to create an automation for this small funnel. So I already have one here, so I'm gonna create another one. Click automation. Now, most respectable 
autoresponders should have all these um, settings that I'm mentioning right now but uh, it might be a little different but it's pretty much the same right so I'm gonna call this CF hero automation okay and I click we click on create automation here now the way the automation start is when someone joins a form so I'm gonna click join form and then I select the form this is the form I select I created um, earlier right so I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to click add event okay so uh, when someone uh, joins the form so we have this so I'm going to create a second step I'm going to create a second step and I'm going to select email sequence okay so you click, click, I, I click on email sequence and then I'm going to select the sequence that I just created, which is um, hero sequence, right? And then add action, right? So basically it's two steps, right? First, someone signs up in the form and then it goes into this form and then it goes to uh, the sequence. And the sequence is what I created um, er um, earlier with the couple of emails. And then there are other things you can do, like you can create, um, can add a tag to someone you can you can add a delay you can there's a whole bunch of things you can do this is actions and this is event right and this is condition now I'm gonna I'm not I'm doing something simple here just to to uh, showcase how to set this up so I have this set up so this should be enough for what I'm trying to do so I'm gonna go back to click funnels and I'm going to edit the page okay so let's click on the page actually I think at the end I might do a test also to uh, just confirm that it works fine so we have uh, the page opening right now okay so what you're gonna do now is you're going to to your settings integration so settings integration Right, and it says the autoresponder integration is not connected. So you're going to select integration. So the only integration I have is for a convert kit. So this is the one. So I'm going to click this one. And it's, got, it's going to ask me select an integration. So I select subscribe to form and then select a list. The list is not yet showing. So oh, refresh. Okay, so I'm going to refresh the list. Select. There it is, CF Hero Form. So now it's showing. So now it's connected, okay? So we're good to go. And this is it, this is all you have to do. So now I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this and I'm going to actually test it, okay? So to test it, um, I'm going to exit. Let's exit and I'm going to open that actual uh, funnel and I'm going to put my email address and see if, if I'm going to receive an email so I'm gonna head I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button here to open the page with the integration All right, guys, and one thing I forgot to mention is when you're setting up your form, then on the, on the right side of the, this page, if you click on this envelope, you have the option on uh, selecting auto confirm new subscribers or not. I mean, what this does is, this is what they call double opt-in. So when someone go ahead, goes ahead and put their um, email address on the form, so they're going to receive an email asking, asking them to confirm that they want to be on the list. So if you leave this unchecked, then they will receive the confirmation email. If you check it and save it, then they will not receive it. So let's try with, uh, let's go ahead and test it. So I'm, gonna go, I'm going to go back to my page. I'm gonna put the email there. I'm gonna put it there. Click send. And this is the second step on my funnel, which is my thank you page. 
All right. So I should be receiving this email soon. Actually, I already see it on my phone. So let me go ahead and open it on my um, computer so I can show it to you. Should have opened this beforehand. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, it won't take long. Okay, so this is one of my emails. Let me open the the one that I used to send it. So now we should receive an email asking me to confirm the subscription. Okay. So here it is. Okay, confirm your subscription. So if I click on it, and then you click on the confirm subscription, I'm going to get a confirmation message telling me that I actually joined the, the the thing the, the the list okay you're officially confirmed on this list Ex expect some great emails headed your way soon okay so this is a, a page from um, um, ConvertKit right so this is it guys um, I hope uh, I mean I hope you got some value uh, in this uh, video obviously well, if you want to uh, remove this, and like I said before, all you need to do is go there, click on auto confirm, and then you close it, and then you just save it, right? So this is it, guys. This is how you integrate your uh, auto responder with, uh, with your ClickFunnels. And well, this example has been for ConvertKit, but like I said, any other auto responder, the steps should be the same, right? So uh this is it guys the if you want to uh check the these two programs that i'm using a quick funnels and convert kit on the bottom of the on the description of the video i'm going to have like a free trial so you can go ahead and, and and give it a try and test it to see if you if you like it and i hope you got some value from this video if you did go ahead and click the like button or share this video with anyone who you think might benefit from it and i will see you in the next video